Representative Terziak of the 26th. You have the floor, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I rise to just say a couple words about my dear friend, Betty Bocas, who was a good friend of my father, who was a state rep before me. Um, after my father passed, Betty and I would share the story. My father would call me every time Betty had her, her name or her picture in the paper. So that meant two or three times a week, year after year. Here's the line. Peter, good picture of Betty. Says, Representative Boke is spotted in big Y. Says, my, isn't the produce fresh? <laughs> People loved Betty. People noticed when she was around. People knew that she loved them. Betty's picture was in the paper because she went around and touched people where they were and touched them in their hearts. It was news, whether it was Plainville, whether it was Bristol, and most especially when it was New Britain. She never let anybody forget that she was an important part of the New Britain team, that she would always, always, always be there for New Britain if for no other reason than because of her husband Gary's history in New Britain and how much he loved the school kids in New Britain. Don't ever doubt, Betty was there. Betty was there for the kids and for the people of New Britain. Betty and I first became close in 1998. I was working on a statewide campaign and went to speak to the Democratic Town Committee in Plainville. They were deep in an exercise of fratricide, working on whether one half should throw out the other or that other half should throw out the first. And they might still be arguing, except they noticed me and decided that they could get together and turn on me. And so they did. <laughs> My, did they come together. But before I could be too bloodied and battered, Betty stood up and said, why, Peter, thank you very much for coming. We appreciate what you've had to say. I don't know if I said more than hello before the attack started. Peter, give me those T-shirts. I'll sell them to people here. We're good Democrats. We're all on the same side. I'm sure you have someplace else to go. And I ran and ran and ran. I've always appreciated her for that, always giving her credit for saving my life. I had the good fortune this year with a change of assignments to get a new office. I got Betty's old office. It's a surprisingly modest office for, for somebody who had such recognized power and influence. Also, it was just drawers full of files. Every issue, every project any of us ever wanted or cared about, Betty kept track of it. Betty was an expert on everything she touched. You look at her drawers there and say, my God, whoever worked this hard? And the answer is Betty did. She did it because she cared about the people she represented. And as she rose in influence, she recognized more and more that was everybody in the state. And because she cared very much for coming through for every single one of us in this chamber, who she loved as another family. And Betty enjoyed being here and let people know it. And we thank her family for sharing her with us. We're all going to miss her for a very, very long time. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative.